Hello, I am the Show Power Guy, and welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today, I'll be discussing a very controversial card that ended up giving somebody the first place victory in the German national tournaments, and that is Eradicator Epidemic Virus. The card reads Tribute one dark monster with 2500 or more attack power and declare one card type, spell, or trap. Check your opponent's hand, all spell and trap cards they control, and all cards they draw until the end of their third turn after this card's activation, and destroy all cards of that type. This card is very strange when you look at the history of Yu-Gi-Oh's competitive scene in the sense that this card is pretty much in rotation of being either really bad and you don't use it and you're an idiot if you use this card to, oh man, this card is really broken. Why the heck does Konami not ban this? Every two years, this card goes through the cycle here because it is an objectively very powerful card depending on the formats that you're dealing with. If you are in a format that is very spell reliant, that requires people to go and have these spell cards to help them garner card advantage, whether it be drawing a monster or getting a monster to the field or adding monsters to their hand or netting you some form of card advantage, then Eradicator Epic Virus is a very strong card to go against those decks. At the same time, we're also in a droll format, so we are in a format where people are reliant on spell cards to garner their advantage, which leads to cards like Droll Unlock and Eradicated Epidemic Virus being very powerful. Something like Math Mech will never use this card. Something like Fluunderies will never use this. It just, there's, there's just decks out there. Even something like Vanquish Souls does not need Eradicated Epidemic Virus. The deck that uses card that got themselves into the German national spot for first place was Labyrinth. Labyrinth being a stun control based strategy deck that required using cards like anti spell fragrance and other floodgates on top of Radicator Epic and Virus in order to go and win their duels. They have Lady Labyrinth, who is, guess what, a dark monster with 2500 or more attack power. That gives you the requirement in order to go properly activate this card. And if you're once again playing a deck, that is more spell reliant or more trap reliant, this card just pretty much destroys you. EEV is a card that is very strong depending on the format that we are in. And as of right now, June 20th, 2023, Eradicator Epidemic Virus is a very strong auto win powerful card you could put in your side deck if you are playing a dark centric monster based deck. However, there is a great possibility that in September, this card might not even be used. There is a great possibility that this card that is doing really awesome right now could be completely useless in a couple months from now and no one's going to use it and people will think you're a complete psychopath for even using this card in the first place. Yes, that happens. It's a rotation of how the new community feels. We have this idea that these cards here that auto win people games should be banned and as of right now it's eradicated epidemic virus beforehand it was anti-spell fragrance and before that it was imperial order it's a rotation it's a cycle it keeps going on and on and i am saying right now if you are interested in playing eradicator epidemic virus and you think that this deck fits with your deck if you think your deck has the requirements to be able to successfully resolve this then go ahead and feel free to use it up until people are able to go find counters to this I'm the show pal guy. Feel free to hit like and subscribe if you want to. You totally not doing to do so, but it'd be cool if you did. And so till next time, I'll see you guys at next week's Tech Tuesday. See you later.